going to the movies. Claudia Cowan joins me live from outside a theater in Los Angeles where I understand you're already in line for The Last Jedi. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, Rick, but I plan to. Actually, the numbers are in, and Hollywood is saying a big hooray for The Last Jedi because it is one of the biggest movies of the year in a year that saw fewer people actually come out to movie theaters like this one here in Westwood. Early estimates from the studio chiefs say that revenues are down about 2.5 percent to just over $11 billion and that attendance is down around 4 percent to 1.26 billion people. That may sound like a lot, but that's the lowest level since 1995. Blame it on increased competition, bad movies, and in some cases, bad timing. For instance, last weekend, uh, the latest Star Wars film from Disney opened with $220 million, 17 times as much as Fox's animated Ferdinand, which cost $111 million to make and took in just $13 million. So what did you see? The year's biggest hit was a fresh take on an old story, Disney's live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast, earning more than half a billion dollars, followed by Wonder Woman, The Last Jedi, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and Spider-Man Homecoming. People we spoke to admit they are mixed about today's movie-going experience. I just like the big screen. I, I, it's more enveloping, and um, I just like it. I used to go all the time. I rarely go now. I do a lot of live uh, theater these days, which is kind of nice. And um, I go over to a friend's house to watch the Netflix binge fest. Yeah, yeah, the binge fest. It's popular. Analysts say uh, superheroes and horror flicks did well, especially at cinemas, offering amenities like food, reclining seats, and online reserved seating, too. But as more people get their entertainment on demand at home and rely less on reviews, more on approval scores on sites like Rotten Tomatoes, big screen movies and theaters will need to become more interesting and innovative. When you combine a great in-theater experience with a great movie, then you're gonna have people coming back for more and wanting to go to the movie theater, even with all the competition that's out there. Analysts say why ticket sales are at a 22-year low. It's still going to be a record-breaking year internationally with worldwide box office approaching $40 billion. Still, if attendance continues to decline, look for ticket prices to keep rising. Costs about $9 at many movie theaters, $13 to see a movie here in Westwood at this theater. And that doesn't include the popcorn, Rick. Yeah, Ouch. and we know how expensive popcorn can be, Claudia. Thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs> a